Hey guys, Viggo Man here and welcome back to another episode from this fantastic Asian mountain palace that we've been working on. This is Dryagana Palace and it's looking fantastic so far. Today we're adding quite a lot more, uh, a couple of more buildings to the lower levels of the palace itself, uh, which is including some baths. Uh, I feel like that's very like Japanese, uh, some hot springs and stuff, so we're doing some of them. Uh, a little brewery, doing some workshops, uh, bigger halls, uh, areas to pray, religious areas, uh, sleeping quarters I think. And just like a bunch of smaller stuff, also doing a lot of decorations on the outside of this place. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do hit that like button. It tells YouTube that, hey, Vigoman's content is alright, maybe you should push that out to more people, which greatly helps my channel. So please don't, don't hesitate doing that. And consider subscribing if you haven't, if you want to have some more epic building videos from me. So I've been pretty much winging this project here, just something for me to, to get my head out of the uh, European medieval styles, which is what I've been working on for like 2-3 years now, uh, and just trying something a little different. Uh, and uh, this project here, Dragana Palace, has really been helping me that way, uh, getting my inspirational juices flowing again and, and trying to figure out how to adapt my building techniques into a completely different style uh, and I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, so there's not really been too much of a plan to this place, but I think now that I'm going to say myself finished with the palace itself, I think, um, I'm going to show you later though, but the, the different levels we have now is uh, good enough for this palace, but I'm not going to stop there I think I'm gonna add some more levels down the mountains as well with maybe some small farms some small houses maybe some taverns and inns and just some small things to make it feel like it's like it has a little bit of a village surrounding it and I think that's gonna help a lot with the style and maybe make the palace itself feel like it's bigger because we're adding smaller houses below it so that's kind of the plan we have in the future here if you have any ideas please do let me know down below in the comment section uh, because you guys have amazing ideas from time to time so please anything just let me know down below and I'll take it into consideration We are now in first person, and before we start the actual tour of today's buildings, can I just point out the view from here? With all the different levels and colors and everything and the mountains in the back, it looks epic. I like, I usually don't try to, to talk my own builds up too much, uh, try to be a little humble, but, but this view right here, I love it so much. Uh, so yeah, we've been working on this in the past. If you haven't checked out those videos, really recommend going back and checking those out. Um, after you watch this video perhaps, and then go back and watch this one, and watch this video over again, which means twice the views for me. Uh, I'm joking guys, but uh, I recommend checking out these ones. Uh, if you want to see more of this style here, uh, the main progress for today is this lower section here. Uh, everything uh, left or yeah, I guess left from this um, little river thing we did in the last episode. Uh, so everything over here is new today and it's quite a big progress actually. And a lot of different kind of buildings and we have some towers and it looks pretty fancy and it all fits with what we already have. And then I've also been decorating the outside with some gardens and trees and even tried myself on a statue. Uh, we, we had some discussions on the server. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious what it is, but people didn't know what it was. Uh, or some people on the server didn't know what it was. So I'm going to leave this up to you guys. What is this? Let me know what you think I've tried to build here. What kind of statue this is. I, I think it looks pretty spot on. But just to, as a little bit of an experiment, I'm going to let you guys take your guesses. And if everyone is wrong, I, I guess I suck at statues. If like over half of you are right, uh, I, I'm gonna say myself happy with uh, with this one. Uh, and then yeah, some Zen gardens and stuff. It's pretty like the drop of here is pretty steep, steep here. So I think I'm gonna have to do some work around here. But uh, that's for next episode, I think. Uh, so what I have done, yeah, I've also like terraformed or not terraformed, but uh, added some stuff to the place around last episode's area. We added some birdhouses here, some areas to sit along this little, I guess I'm gonna call it a garden, like a water garden thing. And then I've also added how the water flows up the mountain here, or flows down rather, and some trees and stuff, just to 
slightly tied in with the landscape here. And then uh, my stalker Aqui or Aquipondium uh, suggested having some banners hang like that, and it's looking fantastic. So thank you so much for that help. And um, yeah, I really like that. So uh, why don't we just move on, check out the different buildings and uh, see the interiors, and then we're gonna step back and take a big look at everything later. Uh, actually, let's start off here. I added this as well. Uh, just like a little pagoda thing and there's a fire in here. I just Wanted to have some fire, so why not and then we have water here Maybe there's a reason why there's water and fire next to each other some kind kind of symbolic I don't know, but I like this one uh, very small and simple and Just works as a little bit of a Yeah filler for this area here, but now let's walk down here and check out the interior of the first uh, building we did today and uh, the bottom floor here is a bath so uh, we have this one here and there's probably some water coming from the, the mountain some natural hot springs in here and, and yeah you just jump in here bring some shampoo and soap and maybe something to drink I don't know just jump in here sit and relax uh, using the water levels uh, or layers uh, which is we can use with world edit uh, you can get like this cooler like yeah, cool effect, I guess, where the water isn't too steep, so you can kind of have the benches. And since we're in 1.12, we can't waterlog slab, so this is kind of the best way of doing it. Uh, and then in the back, we have some areas to get yourself ready, wash yourself before you jump in, and uh, you can sit here and, yeah, do your thing. And I love the ornate kind of wall decorations we have here. Looks pretty fancy. Uh, then we have some gardens with some couple of these... Uh, also almost like bonsai tree looking, but they're not really bonsai. Well, I guess it could be, but they're pretty big and Then we have this area. I love this little back alley we did here Add a little gate to the front here and you come in and it's like all enclosed in buildings and it's colorful It's very like detailed and it has a lot of character. I think so very happy with This little alley here uh, to my left we have the brewery and to my right we have a workshop and some stairs to get up so let's go in here uh, here you can see we just have uh, yeah a workshop some areas to work with planks we have a big shelf with all kinds of stuff in there um, yes everything you need for like a workshop I think and then out here uh, there's just like a back alley just the stuff you don't need just put it back here I guess and to uh, like over here, there's a staircase going up and, and here is like I've, I've been doing a lot of research on like Japanese temples as the main for the interior and they're super empty most of the time So it's been really tricky doing that, but here we have like a small seating area for people to sit and Some stuff we can go up there later or actually let's go th here first um, Here we have some hallways and stuff and then there's uh, ladder going up to a tea room so here people will be sitting like a lot of Asian cultures sit on mats like this So they would sit here and maybe drink some tea and stuff or just talk um, and here you have like uh, An area to present maybe the wine or sake uh, Coffee tea whatever and then you just sit here and drink maybe this is would be for the Lord himself uh, or the wealthy people and then the view from here is pretty amazing, if I say so myself, looking down there. So yeah, uh, I think the roof is alright as well. We have like a wooden roof thing or ceiling thing. And that works. And then in the corners we have some small statues, uh, which I'm trying to do a lot of. I feel like that's uh, fitting and a nice way of filling up space since we don't have too much to do on the in insides uh, of these places. Here we have a little gallery. There's a couple of statues here. Maybe these are statues from the lords. Uh, and like this very simple, it almost looks like a Buddha statue. Uh, with the player head and a stair like that. Very minimalistic, as small as we can get it, but it works. Uh, so maybe these are like statues or symbols for the previous lords of Dryagana Palace. Uh, the ceiling is also pretty neat in here. And this then leads into a different section, but we're gonna get to this uh, But first we're gonna go back down and check out the brewery and then we're gonna check out this other section here uh, later, so 
we go back down here and out and then into the brewery which is over here so here we have another like very detailed wooden ceiling which is very common for like Japanese temples um, they're known for being built completely out of wood not not even any nails so I think like doing this depth with the different wood blocks kind of indicates that um, here we have a big boiler like this and then we have uh, kegs for uh, adding spices and tastings and uh, yeast and those kind of stuff um, and yeah here we have like some wheat and barley which we would use and there's spices uh, we have some hops in here as well which would be pretty commonly used um, yeah and then a small storing rack over here there's more storing in the next door building as well so that is the brewery and again we're going for those detailed beams and, and then a simpler interior otherwise and, and I feel like that's a way of showing how it's like Asian kind of we have the kind of same kind of architectural style but it's it's not the, the poshest place of the castle doing it this way I feel like we're kind of in the middle ground and it works and uh, then we check out this bit and this is really cool I think love this little entrance here where we have like some colors and stuff and this is entrance to another bath and this is a natural bath so here we have like the rock from the mountain inside the building here and you just kind of uh, uh, put the barrier up for water and you just jump in here there's also like different levels you could jump in and then the water just comes from the mountain here uh, straight from the mountain being nice and hot so that's really cool there's some areas to sit and a small area to maybe get dressed or dry yourself like behind this simple wall here and then we have uh, a cupboard storing um, yeah what do you call that I don't know <laughs> uh, ropes I don't know uh, blankets things to towels yeah towels the word I'm looking for here so pretty simple and then in here we have an area to um, to wash your feet and stuff like a foot bath just sit here and wash them maybe you'd have some of the servants do that uh, or maybe your friends maybe you can do it on each other I don't know and some areas to sit and stuff so uh, just like a spa area of of this place and then in the back here we can go back there's areas to wash some clothes and yeah we have some drying racks like that and just areas to sit this is uh, just some beautiful views from this place uh, down there uh, I can see on the map here there's a lake so the <laughs> if the render distance was up this would be a beautiful place to be actually since we're on the map look how cool this is look how massive it is already and I love how it kind of just snakes down the mountain and then uh, the plan is to keep on expanding down here and all the way down perhaps uh, so, so that's pretty neat um, and then yeah some more bird houses here like that uh, but we're going to move upwards through this building here you can take the staircase uh, and again there's a lot of empty halls but i try to decorate them as well as possible so here we have another one uh, doing the same thing where we have detailed columns in the middle and then simple walls and ceilings uh, and it adds so much to the atmosphere in here so we have uh, just areas to sit here and then flowers small bonsai trees and then also an exit to get to the balcony on top here, looking down at this little courtyard. So that's pretty neat. But basically what we're doing, super simple, adding some light things and pillars and then flowers. And it adds so much to the atmosphere without being too much of a meaningful room. And I guess that works. And then here is back to the statues, just so we understand the connection here. These are connected just like that. Um, but what we have here is part of the, the actual mountain coming in and there's like a little natural cave which they have used to build like a shrine so if we go down here and uh, there's a natural cave there's some water in here and then we have a statue so you can come in here and worship and pray uh, which is, is kind of cool I love this little thing just hideouts uh, in the buildings like this and in fact there's a massive cave behind here but I'm not sure if I'm gonna build with that or not it's just too big and too dark but perhaps who knows uh, if this is a forever project we might have to do that um, 
so yeah, that's uh, this little place. Walk over here, we can go even further up, and we just have another mostly empty room. Uh, again, colorful pillars, but here the walls are a little bit more colorful. We're on the upper levels here, the views are pretty nice like that. Uh, and then some areas just to sit here for the people. Um, some books to read, but then we have this thing, and this is another shrine, another place to, or like a temple almost. And it's very big and open. This is the big tower uh, we built. There's no way to really get on the top here, uh, like regularly. You could put up a ladder, uh, but just in here, you can just sit down and pray uh, in front of the statue here. And yeah, I think we captured the style. Again, going for very like decorated walls, and then the ceilings and stuff are very wooden, wooden beams and stuff to indicate more that Japanese kind of style. So that's what we have here and again very happy with what we got today. Let's then move back down shall we or back out I guess and just get a nice overview of everything we did today. Uh, so we did all these buildings here, a lot of different levels, heights which adds a lot to this and the same color colors as the rest and it all ties in pretty nicely i think so overall very happy with today's episode please do let me know down below what you, what you think of today's episode what i could improve and what to do in the future but that guys it's going to be it for today's episode please do hit the like button and if you haven't done already make sure to subscribe it's been vega man and i'm out <laughs>